Hey guys, it's been five minutes. We have Benedict's solution inside our six test tubes. Remember we have water as a control and five carbohydrates. So again, they've been in the water bath for about five minutes. Let's check out the water. Now remember, the water is serving as our control group, which will show a negative test for reducing sugars. Here we see the water, or solution I should say, has remained a blue color, indicating a negative test. Next, we're gonna check out the monosaccharide glucose. Uh, we're gonna grab glucose and we notice that the solution has turned a brick red color, indicating a positive test for reducing sugars. Next, we're gonna take a look at fructose. Again, fructose is also a monosaccharide. And this monosaccharide has shown a positive test for Benedict's reagent, or for reducing sugars, I should say. Next, we're gonna look at a disaccharide. We're gonna look at sucrose. You'll notice that the solution has remained a blue color, indicating a negative test for reducing sugars. Then we're gonna look at another disaccharide. We're gonna take a look at lactose. You will notice that lactose has tested positive. It's turned a brick red color, uh, indicating positive tests for reducing sugars. Our last carbohydrate, starch, a polysaccharide. Let's take a look at that one. Starch is showing a blue color, indicating a negative result. Make sure to record your observations and make conclusions based on these observations in your lab report. We'll see you for the next indicator.